Hi friends, quantitative aptitude. So this video I'll explain you the age problems. So this uh, in any exams, so regarding age problems we don't have much formulas, but the statement, the equation format, the questions will come. So we need to solve. So for example, the basic terms we should know regarding this age problems. So most of the questions they will use the word hence ago or times so like this terms will come so hence is after so with the basic terms we require to the solving these problems now for example the age of the father is x what is age of him of hence 2 years so we need to take x plus 2 Otherwise, what is his age after 2 years? If the age of the father is 60 years, then his age after 2 years is plus 2. That is equal to 62. Similarly, ego. Ego is the term we will use for before. So, 2 years before, what is his age? That is minus 2. So, 58. So, like this, terms will come. Again, the important term is times times is we just to multiply with that number which is given now age of the son is 10 years his father age is 4 times to his son 4 times so 4 into 10 that is uh, 40 years so like this uh, basic terms will come in exam now let us see the problems one by one So let me take one question. The ratio of the ratio of A and B is four is to five. So the age ratio, the ratio of A and B age is four is to five. And the sum of their age is 63. The sum of their age is 63 years. Then find their age sub. Then find their ages. Now this sum. The ratio of the age of A and B is 4 is to 5. Sum of their age is 63, then find their age. So 4 is to 5 is A and B. This is A age and B age. This is a given ratio. So we will take 4x and 5x. Right? Sum of their age is 63. The sum is plus. So 4x plus 5x is equal to 63. Then that is 7x is 63. So x is equals to 63 divided by 7. So x is equals to 9. Okay, this is 4x plus 5x, 9x. Then 63 by 9, that is a 7. So x is equal to 7. Then we need to find out their ages. That is 4x is the age of A. So 4 into 7, 28 years. And age of the B is 5x. So 5 into 7 is equal to, that is 35 years. Now let us see this problem in shortcut. The simple method is, so they gave the ratio of A and B, right? sum is 63 that is 4 plus 5 ratio is 63 that is for 9 if 63 the ratio of the 9 is 63 then what is the ratio for 5 that is 4 into 63 by 9 just to cross multiplication sorry 4 into 
cross multiplication will take in these two lines. 4 into 63 divided by 9. So 9 ones are and 9 sevens are. So 28. Now for 9 ratio, the ratio for 9 is 63. Then what is the ratio for 5? Cross multiplication. 5 into 63 by 9. 35 years. Directly we can compare the ratios. Let us uh, see the one more sum. A, B, C, D. The ratio of the age of the ratio of A, B, C, D. The ratio of A, B, C, D. In age is 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. So ratio of A, B, C, D in age is 1 is to 3 is, 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 and sum of the age is 90. Sum of them all ages is 90 years. Then find their ages. So separately we need to find their ages. Okay. So just if you go for shortcut way. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 3 is 2, 4. The total sum that is 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. For out of 10 ratio, the year is 90. Then for, for ratio of 1, that is A, B, C, D. For 1 ratio, how much? Just 1 into 90 by 10. That is 9 years after cancellations. Then for similarly for the B, same for 10 ratios. Out of the 10, if it is 90, then for 2, it is how much? 2 into 90 by 10. 2 cross multiplication. 18 years. That is the age of the B. This is the age of A. And this is for B. So similarly, for C. 3 into 90 by 10, 27 and similarly for D is 4 into 90 by 10, that is 36. This is the age of C and this is the age of D. So in the this method we can find out easily comparing the ratios. Let us see the one more sum. Ramesh and Suresh age, the ratio of the ratio of Ramesh and Suresh ages is 5 is to 7 and Difference of their age is 4 years. Then find the age of Ramesh after 5 years. Find the age of Ramesh after 5 years. So let us see this. The ratio of the Ramesh and Suresh age is 5 is to 7. Difference is 4 years. So direct method 
रमेश एंड सुरेश फाइव रेशो एंड रेशो फॉर सुरेश इज सेवन लेट इज राइट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स दैट इज फाइव एक्स सेवन एक्स सो फाइव एक्स इज द एज ऑफ द रमेश एंड सेवन एक्स इज द एज ऑफ द सुरेश दैट इज प्रेजेंट डिफरेंस ऑफ देर एज इज फोर so 5x and 7x so suresh age is uh, more compared to ramesh so difference that is 7x minus 5x is equal to 4 then 7x minus 5x 2x is equal to 4 so x is equals to 4 divided by 2 that is 2 so they are asking present ramesh age present ramesh is 5x so present age of ramesh is 5x 5 into 2 that is 10 but according to question find the age of ramesh after 5 years just plus 5 okay no that is 15 years so solution for problem is 15 years let us go to one more sum the age of one person is 4 times 2 is son age so age of father is 4 times to his son and the product of their age is 196 the product of their age is 196 then find the age of them after 5 years okay find the age of son after 5 years find the age of son after 5 years yeah so let us see this age of the father is 4 times so the term times and there is a term product age of the father and age of the son father age is 4 times to his son if the son age is x father age is 4x because 4 times right so you need to multiply and product of their age is 196 product so product is nothing but multiplication this is multiplication multiply So I count the problem. 4x into x is equal to 196. Now this is the present. 4x into x, 4x square is equal to 196. X square is 196 by 4. Just do multiply. 4 fours are 16, 36, 9, 49. X square is 49, so 7 sevens are 49. X is equal to 7. X value we got. X is the present age of the son. Now I count the problem after five years. After five years, that is 7 plus 5. So 12 years is the answer for our problem. Just after five years, the age of the son is 12 years. Now let us see one more similar sum.
Raju and Ramu. The ratio of Raju and Ramu is 4 is to 5. The ratio of the ages Raju and Ramu is 4 is to 5. And after 6 years, after 6 years, Raju age is 26. So Raju's age is 26. Then find the age of Ramu before 6 years. Find age of Ramu 6 years ago. So 6 years ago we need to find out his age. See now, the ratio of age of the Raju and Ramu is 4 is to 5. Raju and Ramu. Always you take the problem to the present. Then according to the condition, we can solve it. 4 and 5. Just take like this. So we can take in the form of x. 4x and 5x. So this is the present case present their ages are this after 6 years Raju's age is 26 so after 6 plus 6 and plus 6 but only the problem is given for Raju's age after 6 years his age is 4x plus 6 but that is, is equal to 26 here now from this you find out 4x is equal to 26 minus 6 4x is equals to 20. So x is equals to 20 by 4. It is 5. So x value is 5. Now we need to find out the age of the Ramu 6 years ago. So present we will find out. So account the present. Present Ramu age is 5x. That is 5 into x value is 5, 25. But 6 years ago, the problem. So minus 6. This ago. So 19 years. 19 years is his age. So there is a simple shortcut also you can try for this problem. That is now. 26 will come from the reverse. Now Raju's age is 26 years after 6 years, right? So 26. After 6 years is 26. Then before 6 years, so his age is 26 years after 6. So before 6 is 20. That means this 20 age is for Raju's ratio. So his ratio is 4. For 4, if it is 20, then for 5, how much? So 5 into 20 by 4. 4 ones are 4 fives. 5 fives are 25. So 25 is present. Same will come like this. Then minus 6 is a 19 years. So according to the problem only, some problems will go for the shortcut way. Not every problem. So if you term if you take in terms of x, it's a easy process. Let's see one more. Now this problem is only related to the Raju's age is increased. The age of the son and his father is 56 years. Sum of ages of father and his son is 56 years after 4 years the 
age of the father is three times to his son. Age of father is three times to his son. Then find their ages present. So you'll find out their ages for present. Sum of the ages of the father and son is 56. After 4 years, then after 4 years, the age of the father is 3 times to his son. So ratio they gave only after 4 years. So let us take after 4 years concept. Father and son. After 4 years, if it is 3x, son is x. Now, present means we need to subtract 4, right? Just minus 4 and minus 4. Then 3x minus 4 and x minus 4. So this case is for present. So this is uh, after, before 1. So 3x minus 4 is the father age and x minus 4 is the present age of the son. Then according to condition, their ages is 56. Just add this. 3x minus 4 plus x minus 4 is equal to 56. If you solve this, 4x minus 8 is equal to 56. 4x 56 plus 8. So 64. Then x is equal to 16. Because 64 by 4. Then according to problem, find their ages. Ages are present. 3x minus 4 is 3 into 16 minus 4. This is age of the father. Forty-eight minus four. Forty-four years. Then son age is x minus four. That is sixteen minus four. It is a twelve years. So condition based on the condition we just uh, subtracted here this four. Because after four years the age of the father is three times. So three x x so minus 4 minus 4 is the age of the present let us see one more so similar problem after 10 years After 10 years, the age of A is 2 times, 2 times 2, the age of B before 10 years. After 10 years, the age of the A is 2 times the age of the before 10 years. And age of A is 9 more than B. Nine years more than B. Then find the age of B. So simple condition is given. Ten years before age is two times to the age of the B after ten years. So let us go for directly shortcut for this. So shortcut method A and B. 
shortcut is we come from the down that is age of the a is 9 years more than b so if the b is x then age x plus 9 because 9 plus x 9 years more then after 10 years and before 10 years so age is after 10 years so plus 10 and age of the b is before 10 years minus 10 so these are the present so b value is asking to find out age of the b so let, let us take the b is x we took so directly our x is answered now x plus 9 x plus 9 plus 10 x plus 19 and x minus 10 now this is a 2 times to this 2 times so x plus 19 is equals to 2 times x minus 10 so we can solve this we will get the value of x directly x plus 19 is equals to 2x minus 20 that is 19 plus 20 2x minus x 39 is x so x is equal to 39 so age of the b is 39 years so instead of taking from the given data we make come from the age of present age from the present age only you can take the problem to solve easily Okay. <clears throat> now we take we'll go for the ratios problems which is linked with the ages. <clears throat> P and Q, the age, the ratio of the age of P and Q is three is to four. The ratio of ages of P and Q is 3 is to 4 and after 6 years after 6 years their ages so their ages in the ratio of 5 is to 7 then find the age of Q so let us find the age of the Q from this problem the ratio of the age of the P and Q is 3 is to 4 after 6 years so after is a plus 6 years the age is 5 is to 7 the simple method P and Q the given 3 and 4 this is present so 3x and 4x this is the present right after 6 years And after six years, their age is five is to seven plus six plus six. That is three x plus six and four x plus six. After six years, their age is equals to five is to seven. That means this ratio is exactly equal to the ratio of five is to seven then we can take this into this is equal to this into this because product of the means is equal to product of the extremes so let me tell that the simple formula if a is to b is equals to c is to d if any two ratios are equal they are in proportion if the ratios are in proportion then product of the means is equal to product of the extremes so b into c is equals to a into d so 3x plus 6 
into 7 is equal to 4x plus 6 into 5. So just if you solve this problem, you direct get the x value. That x value is nothing but <coughs> 4x is the present age. So 4 into that x value. 4 into that value is the age of the q. So you can try this. So similar sum. Let me okay. I'll let me explain one more sum similar. Before two years, the age of the father two years ago. Two years ago, the age of father is six times to his son and eighteen years hence. So after 18 years, the age of father is two times to his son. Then find the age of father and son. Two years ago, their age is given condition, and after 18 years, the age of the condition is given. So let us take like previous problem, father and son. Six years, two years ago, the age of the father is six times to his son. Two years ago, that is six x and x because six times. This is ago. But two years from now, because we need always present. So present is plus two. So six x plus two and x plus two. This is the present. Okay. Then hence two eighteen years. The age is two times to his son. Again eighteen years after eighteen years plus eighteen. And plus 18. So add this both 6x plus 2 plus 18. 6x plus 20 and x plus 20. So this ratio is equals to father age is 2 times to his son. That is 2 is to 1. Then we can take, since after 18 years, the father age is 2 times to son. Means and extremes. You can apply the formula. So x plus 20 into 2 is equals to 6x plus 20 into 1. So 2x plus 40 and 6x plus 20. Therefore, 6x minus 2x, 40 minus 20. So after solving, 4x is equals to 20. Therefore, x is 20 by 4. x is equal to 5. x is the value of 5. That is the ego. Now, present age we need to find out. So present age conditions are 6x plus 2 and x plus 2. So father age is 6x plus 2. 6 into 5 plus 2 that is 32 years. And son age is uh, x plus 2. That is 5 plus 2, 7 years. So we can see the relation in this way. Let us see one last problem in this ages.
that is the age of the father okay the age of the two sons the age of father and his two sons so age of the father is three times sorry is three times to his two sons compared to his two sons his age is a three times then after three years after three years father age is two times two is two sons so some of the two sons you can take always then find the age of age of father so compared to the sum of the two sons it is always now let us see this in the shortcut trick two sons age is x let sum of two sons h i am taking as x so like previous father and this is two sons two members together and father age if it is x father age is three times so 3x then after three years after three years so plus three and for two sons right so plus three and one more plus three because individually they will uh, increase their age after three years 3x plus 3 and x plus 6 it is then father age is two times therefore 3x plus 3 is two times 2 is both sons age now this is this one and this has this so two times just we can solve it 3x plus 3 2x plus 12 that is 3x minus 2x is equals to 12 minus 3 x is equals to 9 so x is the sum of the two sons age but we didn't ask the question about x father age so father age present is this is the present so 3x so age of the father father age is 3x 3 into 9 that is 27 years so the main important thing is here we need to add plus 3 plus 3 because two sons at a time they'll increase plus 3 plus 3 so plus 6 will be increased all together okay. so these are the sample questions the mostly they'll ask the problems regarding ages in this time so hope you understood and the main thing is you need to subscribe this channel so please subscribe this because this channel is completely the educational videos only will upload and in this description there is a website that is www.foundation for iit.com so in this website so you can see all the educational uh, links I mean uh, from 6th class to 12th class including aptitude reasoning so related all the questions and all the uh, notes so freely you can they are available so you can go through so this is the channel yeah so this website link is there in uh, description box then you can 
go through that website link and you can uh, read the remaining some more problems which is related to the aptitude as well as any uh, CBSC, ICSC as well as SSC. All the boards which are useful for 6th class to 10th class. All the subjects, videos are there at the same time notes are there. And please subscribe this channel for upload, I'll upload more videos regarding only educational concern. So hope you understood this uh, video. So I'll up, uh, we'll see you can see the links for more videos also in this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.